Many people ignore their modem after they set it up and it's working properly. But believe it or not, your modem can actually provide additional value and information to you after it's been set up. In particular, your modem can convey important information about your internet connection, and they do that through the lights on the device themselves. So what are the different lights on your modem, and what do they mean? In this episode from Network From Home, we're going to be taking a look at all the different lights on your modem, what they mean, and how they can be useful to you when troubleshooting your network connections. Before I get into what these different lights are, it's important to understand the application here. So what I'll be talking about today, I'll be talking about the lights on a standalone modem. So if you have a standalone modem and standalone router in your home network, this will most likely be applicable to you. On the other hand, if you have a modem and router that are combined into one device, and you only have one device in your home network, chances are the lights on your device will be slightly different. On top of that, the lights on your modem might look slightly different than mine, depending upon the make and model of modem that you have. That being said, I would say in general from my experiences, most modems have similar lights on them that convey similar information. So with that, let's dive into it and take a look at these lights on my modem. Okay, so here's a pretty good shot of the lights on my modem. We're gonna be working our way from the top down here. This first light at the top, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody recognizes it. This is the power light for your modem. It will be green when the device is powered on. However, if there are issues, for example, if your modem is experiencing a critical failure, or if it's overheating, this light will turn red. So this is a case where you probably want to restart your router and see if that corrects the issue. Or if the device is hot to the touch, you probably want to unplug it for a while and make sure it cools down. Okay, this next light here, this one is the downstream light. Basically, you can associate this light to your modem being able to download from the internet and from your internet service provider. So essentially, this is saying, okay, I have established a connection with the internet. I am able to download from the internet. And what you'll see is that this light, when you're first starting the modem, it will be amber in color. When this light is amber in color, it means that your modem has established one downstream channel connection with your internet service provider. But when modems are fully connected to an internet service provider, they actually establish multiple downstream and upstream channels. So again, when your modem is starting up, you'll see this light turn amber until it has established a full connection with the internet. This next light down here, this is very similar to the downstream channel, except this is the upstream channel. Essentially, it's used to indicate whether or not your modem has a good connection with the internet service provider and is able to upload information to the internet. In other words, it's able to send information and data from your home network to the internet as opposed to downloading from it. It follows the same process when starting up. It will be amber when it has one channel established with your internet service provider, but it will turn green once a full connection and multiple channels have been established with your internet provider. So when talking about these two lights here, the downstream and upstream connections, if these lights are amber, you know you don't have a full connection with your internet service provider. Maybe you need to reboot your modem. Maybe you need to register your modem with your internet service provider. Or maybe there's a problem with the internet service provider itself and you have to call them. But these lights are still useful because it gives you an indication that you're not fully connected. So there's something that needs to be done in order to fix that issue. This next light down here, this here indicates an internet connection. So basically, it's green when you have a full connection to the internet. It will be blinking green when it's trying to establish a connection to the internet. And obviously, if this light is not lit up, it means you do not have a connection to the internet. Lastly, this light here indicates an ethernet connection to a router. 
As I've gone over in previous videos, your modem needs to be connected to your router in your home network. This light indicates if there is a good connection to that router. Specifically, there are a few different states that this light can be in. It will be green if it has a connection of 1000 megabits per second or greater. In other words, if your modem is connected to your router with a Cat5e ethernet cable or higher, this light will be green. Conversely, if this light is amber, it means you're using a Cat5 ethernet cable. One thing I'll say about this is that Cat5 ethernet cables are rarely used today, so this light should never be amber. You should be using a Cat5e ethernet cable or greater to maximize the performance of your internet connection. One thing I'll note here is if you're unsure about what type of category ethernet cable you're using, I've made a previous video that I will link to up above so you can remove any questions that you have. You'll be able to identify exactly what category of ethernet cable you're using to connect your modem and router. One last thing I'll mention about this ethernet light here at the bottom. If this light is blinking, it means that data is being sent to or from your modem. Okay, now that we've gone over the different lights on my modem, I wanna show you what it's like when I restart my modem. As you may be aware, when you restart your modem, your modem will reestablish its connection with the internet. And as a result of that, the lights on the modem itself will go through the various states that I just explained. Okay, here's my modem. I'm gonna turn it off for a second here. I'll let it sit for 30 seconds and then we'll fire it back up. All right, we've sufficiently given it time. Let me power my modem back up and we'll see the status of these lights. Okay, there's that green power light. I just gave the modem power. Now we have all these lights blinking, but as you'll see, just give it a few more seconds. Okay, as you can see, we have our amber lights here for the upstream downstream connections. That means they have one channel connected. The internet connection is establishing, but it's not fully green yet, so it's not established. When this light turns fully green, these lights will turn green as well. And obviously we can see I have an ethernet connection. My modem's connected to my router. Right on cue, there we have our green internet connection. And with a full internet connection established with our internet service provider, we also have multiple upstream and downstream channels established as well. Okay, so as you can see, the different lights on your modem will tell you the different states that the device is in. Also, if you're having trouble with your internet connection and you're unsure if your, your router is the problem or your modem's the problem, I would start upstream first. Take a look at your modem's lights first. See if there's anything wrong with these lights. Any of the lights are amber or if the power light is red, for example. Then you know that you have to troubleshoot with your modem or with your internet service provider, give them a call, see if they're having any problems with delivering internet to your home. Conversely, if everything looks okay on your modem's lights, but you're still having internet issues, take a look at your router. Your router has lights on it as well that will indicate the status of the device and maybe give some ideas about how to troubleshoot it. If you'd like to learn about what the lights on your router mean, I've previously made a video about this that I will link to up above as well, just so you have a reference while you're troubleshooting. If you have any questions about this information or you'd like to provide some feedback about my videos, please leave that in the comments section down below. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a like. We wanna make sure that this gets shared with as many people as possible that might be having similar questions that you are. Lastly, if you like my channel, if you like the videos and the way that I deliver this information, please subscribe. I'd be honored to have you join in this journey with me. I'm going to be continuing to refine my videos. I'm going to be delivering new content on new topics and I'd love to get some ideas from you if there are specific things you want me to go over. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.